What's up everyone, Tire Kickers here, and in today's video we're talking about some of the problems we've uncovered with the supercharged E39 since the first drive video. Link in the description below if you haven't seen it. Also, I get behind the wheel for the first time since the supercharger install, while my dad is monitoring the data we're reading live from the car using HP Tuner software. I'm stoked, so let's get to it right after you smash the like button. shakedown runs one of my drive wheels on the race drive setup or my supercharger one of the wheels went uh, the bearings puked themselves of all their grease it was a sealed bearing and it shouldn't it shouldn't have leaked so uh sent a video over to uh, lsx concepts and they actually shipped me out a wheel right away uh, so we actually installed that wheel pulled the drive bar put it back in got that done last week and that drive was all set back up get the belt torque back down and then I had one small oil leak, and I've been chasing this oil leak for a bit, on the crank position sensor that sits right above the starter on the right side of the motor. Uh, the O-ring was leaking. So the reluctor wheel in the 54 tooth 50 x reluctor wheel slings oil up on that side of the block based on rotation. So it's uh, it kind of finds its way out that hole. So we uh, found a GM service manual. We used some GM sealant and a new sensor with a new O-ring seal it up and we're going to find that if it holds. Don't think I'm going to get there, does it? No, it doesn't. Anyway, so today's runs are to check out the stuff we did this past week and then uh, make sure the leaks through the, that, that one oil leak was stopped. And uh, I do have a uh, Mighty Mouse catch can on this vehicle. You need, the, you need a catch can to keep oil out of the intake track in a supercharger that oil tends to clog up the intercooler that's in the hat so making sure the air oil separator keeps all that out is super critical so that can uh, seems to be working right and vacating crankcase pressures so we'll see what uh, after today's run we'll go back and take all the data that we're capturing here on hp tuners and uh, go from there but i can tell you what if you're running a high performance vehicle and you're not running hp tuners that's a mistake. Also add that I drove my stock E39 540 immediately after getting out of the supercharged E39 and the difference was honestly night and day. The throttle response with the supercharger is nuts. I was probably depressing the gas pedal by about 10% when driving at city speeds and I was definitely holding back when accelerating hard since I'm pretty much relearning how to drive the car again. The 540 is by no means slow with 282 horsepower but it's not even in the same league as what my dad's car is now. And for the record, my E46 M3 wouldn't stand a chance in a straight line race either. We need to get this thing on a dyno ASAP so we know how much power it's making, so stay tuned for that. We got a whole uh, M5 subframe that's out for reinforcement. We got a bunch of reinforcing going down on the M5 subframe. And then all the M5 crap goes back on it because I've already got the axles, the differential, and the brakes and everything, so control arms. Getting it reinforced to make sure it don't cause us any problems. Right. The big thing is, you know, again, is that a lot of guys that have done LS conversions, they've had a, pro a lot of problem with that horsepower with the E39 frame with wheel hop, you know, doing burnouts, crap like that. And I'm not a burnout guy, so they were having problems with wheel hop, and wheel hop will snap axles, it'll bend control arms, that kind of stuff. So 
Uh, so far, we've kept uh, wheel hop at bay. It should uh, should stay that way, and that's what we're trying to keep out. Back down to 208. IETs are 68. It's 86 outside. You can feel a little bit sometimes when it's trying to cool it down. It's getting right. the, 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 air, the temperature air changed because the AC coolant's working pretty hard. And that's going to be the key test during the summer months. Once we get into the 90s, of how well the uh, AC continues to cool. Right. With, uh, hard runs on the supercharger. And again, like you know, like I mentioned last week, you know, out without just driving around normally and not really getting on anything, it, it drives. Oh yeah, it's manageable. Yeah, it's manageable. Yeah. It doesn't take much throttle input though to, to do it. A little bit of throttle turns into Captain Sato. Yeah. So in the near term, we'll be keeping an eye on that drive wheel we replaced. Again, massive shout out to LSX Concepts. And we'll also be making sure that that oil leak we fixed doesn't come back. We're hoping to get the car to the tuner soon, so make sure you subscribe so you can keep up with the progress. And while you're down there, smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm so you can help us grow this channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.